going on, y'all? Hopefully the um phone doesn't do what it did yesterday, hopefully. Let's hope and pray. Yeah, don't do it did yesterday. It's acting up bad yesterday. What's going on? Uh oh, I'm screwing it. I'm, I'm <laughs> trying to screw it down so it was so wobbly. Hold on a second, y'all. I know I'm dancing. All right, there you go. All right, okay. All right, y'all, I'm ready to make some pasta salad. Hey, Milana Roberts, hey, Yvette oh, Rogers, hello, Tanya Wynn. Get ready to make some pasta salad uh, for the baby shower, my cousin's baby shower tomorrow. Um, do the uh, meatballs a little later on. <laughs> he made a mistake and uh, froze the uh, ground beef. So um, it's been thawing since he brought it to me this morning. So it's almost finished thawed. I'll, I'll do this live right now because I'm getting ready to make it. I don't want to be at a standstill. So I'm going to make this pasta salad. I already prepped everything. It's going to be real quick. Uh, at the same time, you guys may hear me uh, stop and pause, whatever, because I am recording it at the same time. So I have a shorter video for it. Okay. Um, I, I'm, making tr I'm making pasta salad with trout in it. Um, it's not smoked. I baked it off already. That way it's already done. I had to get it cooled off. Um, that way the process won't take so long. And all I did, I'm gonna pull it out. And all I did was um, turn around. Was season it. This is trout. This is not salmon. This is um steelhead trout. This is not salmon. It's trout. Uh, all I did was season it um lightly with a few seasons. Of course, some Tony Saturies, um, Tony Saturies, uh, some a little smacking season I had left. Another little seasons and stuff. I'm gonna put onto the um on the video, okay? So let's get rolling with this. Let's first make our dressing for for our pasta salad. But my base is gonna be mayonnaise. It is gonna be a mayonnaise based um pasta salad. Slap this guy some side. Let me get my camera ready for recording. Sun-dried tomatoes. What else I need to open up? I'm trying to have everything go bam, 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 bam. Okay, we ready. First, I'm going to start off with some mayo. Start off with some helmets, real mayonnaise. <laughs> Don't mind me, y'all. Y'all know I'm shooting the video. Okay, mayonnaise, let me get some Hellman's. It's a lot of pasta in here. And we don't want the dry pasta salad. That's what we don't want, right? For my acid, I'm gonna use um, some balsamic vinegar. For my acid, so I'm gonna use some balsamic vinegar for my acid. Don't mind me double talking.
I'm gonna add in some um, Italian herbs. Just doing some dried Italian herbs. Some Kinder's, um, Kinder's caramelized onion. Get that focus. There we go. Add in some more dried parsley flakes. All right, we're gonna balance out that acid with a little bit of sugar. Not a lot, I'm not making it sweet. I'm just making, I'm balancing out that acid with uh, some sugar. It's called balance, y'all. I'm gonna add a little sugar in here. How y'all doing? I hear, I see y'all. I see y'all. How y'all doing? <laughs> hey, Arlene Fitzgerald. Um, Bertha Massey. Hey, Bertha. Um, of course, I'm not going to make this too spicy. We don't want the baby hiccuping. We don't want the baby going, hiccup, 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 inside the stomach. That's what we don't want. <laughs> so I'm not going to add no spices, but you can't add um, spice to it if you like to. Let's so, add in our veggies. I have everything cut up already. We're gonna start with our yellow peppers and uh, scallions. And some cucumbers and diced tomatoes. I, I seeded these cucumbers and seeded tomato. Some sweet Vidalia onion, just a little bit. Thank you for the stars, Arlene. Just to add a little bit of bite, gonna add in a little um, 
chopped olives, not a lot. It's chopped, so I just want that little bite of saltiness from the chopped olives. And I also got a little celery. I'm not a lot of celery, I don't want a lot of celery. And garlic, chopped garlic and celery. Into the bowl. sun-dried tomatoes. Sun-dried tomatoes. I'm gonna add a few of these in as well. With the oil, it's not gonna hurt. Oh, you don't have to drain the oil off. I'm gonna sun-dried tomatoes in here. And so you, you guys, let me show you my pasta. Um, I, use, I chose to use penny, penny pasta. Um, I chose penny, it's always a good pasta salad when you use penny pasta. You can use bow tie, you can use tricolor, you can use whatever you like, whatever floats your boat, use it. Okay, whatever pasta you like. But I like the way penny hold up. Penny holds up really well. Um, and the method that I use when I cook this, I do not drain it. I said I do not um put it in shock it in cold water. My bad. I don't shock it in cold water. What I do to this pasta to get it so perfectly cooked like this, after after it boils, right when it's done, I turn it off. I pour in a cup of cold water. Take it off the heat. Let it set for a minute. Stir it. Stir it. Stir it. Stir it. And then drain it. Do not rinse it. Don't rinse it. Just drain it, drain it, and um, put it in the pan to let it air cool. And it's nice, cool, and it's still firm. You know, sometimes when you your um, your noodles be waterlogged and be messed up, look how perfect this this pasta is. That's the method I use. I gotta show it to you guys. I know, like we don't understand what you're saying, chef. But yeah, I do not. <laughs> don't put it in the water. Don't do it. Let it air, let it air cool. I let it air cool and it's perfectly fine. And then I drizzle a little bit of olive oil on this. Just a little bit of olive oil, not a lot. Just a little bit of olive oil. Perfectly cooked pasta. That's what you want. All right, let's add this pasta. Hold some back just in case I got too much, um, not enough sauce. Hold a little bit. Like I said, we don't, we don't want to dry pasta. Okay, I feel like I'm safe to add the rest. But don't forget, we still have to add the meat too as well. <laughs> and 
and another thing, you know, when you do your pasta like that, you don't um you don't lose your flavor. You don't lose your flavor in the pasta. And I cooked this in a little bit of the um shrimp broth. A little bit of shrimp broth, and I still added salt because you still need salt in water. I just gave it flavor. So this pasta has some nice good flavor to it as well. We're gonna break up our our um, trout. I keep wanting to say salmon myself. <laughs> I keep wanting to say um, salmon because it looked like salmon, but it's trout. It's still head trout. Um, I think my cousin got it from um, Sam's or Costco, either or. Hey, Cassandra Davis, I see you watch what you look at sell. Renee Lewis King is watching. I see you watch what you look at sell. Come on in this room. Come on. Come on, get, come on and get your A. <laughs> uh, Arlene Fitzgerald, hello. Shell Cooper, what's going on, Shell? All right. Put my gloves back on. I'm going to break up this uh, trout. And how I cook this, look at it, it's just easy. And I left the skin on it so it won't dry out. You don't want it dry. It's still nice and um, moist. It's gonna flake up real nice. All right, so I showed you guys it, let me switch. Um, Again. Put the pasta back. And I, like I said, I, I like the seasoned it with a little Tony saturated. Like I said, I want I didn't want it too spicy. I just wanted to have a little flavor. So the reason why um, it's trout instead of being shrimp in here, uh, or you know the imitation crab. So my cousin, um, he doesn't eat um, critters, <laughs> as we call them, as, or as they call them. He doesn't eat shrimp. He don't eat crab. He don't eat none of that stuff. So um, he's like, "What do you think about salmon?" And I said, "Well, yeah, try some salmon. Try some salmon. Let's, let's try it." See, I've never done it before with salmon, but we're gonna try it today. <laughs> you know, it's pasta and add the meat to it. <laughs> so. We're going to try it today, and here we are. We're making this pasta with trout. So, you know, you do it with, the, um, with tuna, whatever, but this was freshly made. Fresh made. Um, and I, I think these flavors are going to be phenomenal in here. Different type of pasta salad. I'm not gonna move this around too much. I want the chunks of um, tuna to stay in there, just how it is. Nice big chunks of it. So we're not, I think I'm done moving this around. Let me, let me I gotta taste it because I make sure I have enough salt because I didn't add no salt at all because um, I had the, the trout season and the pasta was seasoned. So let me taste this. Let's taste this. I need some. I, I need some of that cucumber in there. <laughs> let's see what. Let's see what we're working with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's actually freaking fantastic. I got some lemon juice. I'm gonna squeeze some lemon in here. And a little more acid. And I need a. It's a, a salt, but this is really good, y'all. Really, really good. Hmm. How about that? 
Let me get my own strainer so I can strain this lemon juice. That, lem that, that lemon is gonna brighten it right on up. Because the, bals the balsamic is doing its job, of course. Balsamic is doing its job. <laughs> Not, like I said, this, this, and the sugar help. The sugar helps. This won't hurt either. A little more, a little more um, herbs. But the flavors are good, and I'm just going. I'm just tweaking a little bit. Kosher salt. Like I said, you guys, you can, um, you can add, um, spice to this, you can add a little more seafood seasoning if you would like to. Like I said, but I know it's, um, if you have a, a pregnant person, um, that's eating this, so I don't want to be, and it's, and it's her party, so, <laughs> we're her and the babies. So, I don't want to, um, not let her not have nothing, of course. Because you know me, I would I would like a nice little spice in here myself. A little lemon stingy, ain't you? So it almost broke up and looked like um, tuna, tuna salad almost. Um, but it's good because I, like I said, I seasoned it myself and it was fresh. That's the big difference in it. And it's like I tell you guys, it's just um, actually really, really, really good. Really, really good. Really, really good. Let me grab another fork. That's what people in the replay. You choose the same fork. Here's that one. And here's this one. It's a new one. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Come on. You, you, you jumped on there the first time. Don't try to jump off. <laughs> oh man. Mm. Mm -hmm. Right about a season on that one. <laughs> That's good. Mm -hmm. Hey man. Hey Dorothy Reed. See y'all watching. Hey Dorothy. Um, That's good. That's really, really good. So how many times we say it, Chef? It's really, really good. <laughs> but all right, I'm gonna put this into the pan. So put it up. I'll come back on. Um, as soon as this meat finished on, I'll come back on to do these um, baby shower meatballs. What's they called? Quote unquote baby shower meatballs. I know you guys want to see that. I'm making them from scratch. I don't make my meatballs from that bag thing. I make them from scratch. I made them um, from scratch last week, and everybody raved about them, of course. But um, yeah, I'm gonna make those, those baby shower meatballs that you guys seen at the party I did last week. All right, so come back on. You guys see? It's not a um, it's not a replay. It is the live. All right, <laughs> see you guys in a little bit. Peace. <laughs>